Welcome back to another TPM Tactical video. Today's video is a simple tutorial on adding items, for example, weapons, um, to vehicles, to the vehicle inventory. So as you can see, I've created a new project, it's called Vehicle Inventory. And what we're gonna do now is just navigate through to the vehicle prefab. Okay, so Armour Forger, prefabs, uh, vehicles, let's go wield. Uh, let's go to a Ural. Um, okay, let's look for a civilian Ural. So I say this blue one here. Yep, this will work. So I'm going to right click on it and go to override in vehicle inventory. Vehicle inventory being the name of my project. As you can see, you've got this little um, puzzle symbol. And I'll right click on this and go edit prefab. And once we're in here on the right hand side, you see all these components. I'm just gonna search the inventory. So this universal inventory storage component is what we wanna modify. So if you scroll down here, you see these multi slots. So you've got three items here at the moment. So currently in here, there's a bandage, uh, one field dressing. What else have we got in here? Uh, we have some jerry cans. Oh, well, they didn't put any jerry cans in there, so that's weird, there's zero though and a wrench but there's also zero okay so what we'll do we'll just override these so in this first one uh field dressing we we'll replace this let's look for some ak-47s nope. okay so let's filter just a prefab just make it quicker sweet so i'm saying click and drag this prefab into here and now it's got the AK-74 um, let's say we're going to put 50 of those in there um, we want some jerry cans so let's put some jerrys we'll up the number to 10 from 0 wrenches always good to have some wrenches so you can fix your vehicle let's say 5 of those uh, let's add another multi slot so expand it here, set class to inventory storage slot, enter object name. Um, let's say we're going to put in just a handgun. I don't know if this really matters or what this exactly does, but put in handgun there, for example. Let's locate the handguns. Uh, armor forger, prefabs, weapons, handguns. Uh, let's go to the PM. So I'm going to use this one here, click and drag across to the prefab location and I'm going to add say 50 of those. Awesome. So now these items are in this prefab. So let's save that. Let's load up a GM world, so GM Island. So now I've added those weapons and items to this vehicle and save them into the prefab themselves. Um, because this is a GM world, game mode it's already set up I'm just gonna hit play so I could place the URL down in the editor let's create myself sweet there I am but instead I'm just gonna place it down in the um, GM world um, transport truck okay Open cargo, here we are. So we've got five wrenches and we have 50 of the uh, PM pistols and 50 of the AK-74s plus the 10 um, jerry cans that I put in there. So that's basically it, nice and simple. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Uh, if you'd like another tutorial, again, leave in the comments or feel free to DM me on Discord. You should be able to find me on the Armour Discord uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Please like and subscribe. Cheers, ladies and gents.